what's going on everyone it's living to learn just want to thank you again for uh watching tuning into my videos appreciate all the support subscribers people that have shared liked commented on my videos it's just something that i uh you know i always want to be uh, grateful for because hey if no one's listening it's just me talking on a <laughs> on a video right and that's kind of funny anyway um thank you all for your support again feel free to subscribe like share comment if you think anybody you know would benefit from these videos please please share it with them uh, if you want to donate financially that's always helpful you don't have to but it's an option anyway i want to talk about <clears throat> uh just kind of uh it's kind of an extension of of what we talked about in the last video so if you didn't watch the last video i talked i'm, I'm talking about image right now right on the subject of image and last my last video i covered just three things to keep in mind three things to be mindful of uh, when it comes to image self-image in particular um, to just kind of help us stay true to ourselves right because there's a lot of things coming from out outside there's a lot of outward influences and voices that are um, in society and and you know that are that are putting expectations on us and as much as we want to you know as much as we wish it, it didn't affect us they do you know at times and to an extent and everyone's different some of us have a, a more balanced um uh maybe, maybe a healthier you know understanding of ourselves and so we're not we're not so much you know we're, we're not taking so much to the pressure of, of 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 being like this or like that some of us have a harder time because maybe we're a little more insecure or we're a little more you know we never had that that confidence or we were, it was never established in us or we never had anybody tell us, right? And, um, you know, that's the case for a lot of us. And, and so, and that, that's another thing to keep in mind is, you know, we're, we're not alone in this. You know, this is, a, this is something that everyone deals with, their image, right? How do we see ourselves? How do we feel about ourselves? But anyway, before I get into today, <clears throat> um, today is actually a, a special day for me. It's actually uh, our uh, my 13th, uh, wedding anniversary. My wife and I have been married 13 years today. And so um, just real quick, thank you, babe, for the past 13 years. You're amazing. And uh, I love you. So yeah, shout, shout out to my wife for putting up with this guy for 13 years. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so, so, you know, today's a special day. But you know what, I it, it actually being my my anniversary, it, it's a good segue into what I'm talking about today, because I'm talking about comparison. Comparison kills. Okay. I actually got that from a sermon that I heard years ago. Um, pastor was, was, was preaching and he said, comparison kills. And that came to mind when I, when I thought about recording this video because it's true. You know, comparison does kill. And, um, you know, again, this is not a, a religious channel. It's not a, a faith-based channel. Um, yes, I have a faith. Yes, I have a spirituality. If you want to know more about that, you can, you know, get at me at at Live to Learn Coaching on Instagram, and you know we can we can have a conversation. But that's not what this platform is for. With that, with that being said, I do want to mention that you know, in the tradition of uh, the biblical tradition of of the Ten Commandments, there's actually a commandment in there where it says, "Thou shalt not covet." Right. Basically, like you won't, you shouldn't desire to be like this person or that person or have what they have because it's dangerous and it's so dangerous that God decided to put that in the 10, right? It's on the same list as thou shalt not murder. Think about it. One, one is one kills, the other will, will kill you. One kills, the other will kill you. Being covetous, comparing that comparison will kill. So, so again, being 13 years married today, it, it's, it happens in, in that, you know, in that realm as well, right? We, we tend to compare ourselves with others. Oh, well, look at these people. And, you know, they seem to have it ABC. You, you, you know, you've had these conversations before, right? You've probably thought these things and that's okay. I'm, what, I'm, what I'm not here is today is to attack our humanity and just being people, Right. I mean, it's natural. It's natural to look at something and, and think like, oh, that seems way better than what, you know, where I'm at. 
it's just that it's probably not true. And, you know, I was actually talking to a buddy of mine who um, was recently, you know, divorced. And, you know, he, he was sharing something with me and he was getting real with me. And I and I really appreciated his advice and I really appreciated his insight. And he says, you know what, man, like you we think that, hey, you know what? As they say, the grass is greener on the other side. But it was crazy because we're actually we're sitting in, outside of, in front of my house. We just went to go, you know, grab something to eat where he was dropping me off. And so we're looking down, down the street and he's like, yeah, you see from here, you see that lawn. It looks like it's perfectly manicured. looks like the grass is lush and green. You're thinking like, man, that lawn looks way better than mine. Right. That one's looking good. He said, then you drive over there and you get closer and you notice, oh, wait a minute. There's patches here and there and, and. There's weeds over here and, and this and that. He said, and you find out, you know what? This lawn actually has just as many problems as mine. And, and he taught me something in that moment. You know, and, and it, not just as, as a married person, right? Where we might tend to think like, well, you know what? Maybe this could be better. This would be better or... Yeah, maybe if it was more like this, you know. He taught me that it's actually there's there there really is no there's not much difference. And that goes that goes for a lot of things. Right? I mean, and I don't mean to I don't want to knock social media because I utilize social media. Right? I benefit from social media. When I'm done with this video, I'm going to edit a reel from this video to send um to put out on social media. Social media is entertaining. There's a lot of cool stuff on there. So I, I'm not going to completely just knock that down, but tell me if I'm wrong or not. Social media is a place where we can really get caught up in the comparison game. I mean, there's people that just look like, man, they are living the best life, right? Like all they have time to do is travel and be in cool places. And dress with really expensive clothes and drive really nice cars. And just look perfect. Right? We see that. We see that. We start to compare. The problem is comparison kills. And, and let me explain something. It is natural, I think, for us to compare ourselves. When we see something that we feel is better or is an upgrade or is like, hey, if I was there, I'd be this. It's natural. Right. It's just a part of who we are. It's just how we how we interpret things. But it's also unfair. It's also unfair to us as individuals. I don't know if you've ever heard this saying before, but um, you might hear someone say, hey, it's like comparing apples to apples. Right. What does that mean? Well, an apple and another apple are the same. Right. They're, they're both apples, no matter how you look at it. Right. One might, you know, be a little bit bigger or maybe this one's a little more fresh. But it's a fair comparison. Same thing when you go to the store, you compare prices. That's a smart thing to do. Right. I might go to this store and, it, you know, this item will it cost me, you know, two fifty. But then I go to this store and I can get two of the same item for four dollars. Smart move. Right. Nothing. Those are healthy comparisons. Like that's a smart move. Now, when you're talking about individuals, when you're talking about people, it's not the same. And let me explain why. There's too many variables to account for. There's too many things that you can't, you haven't taken into consideration before you've made that comparison. You see, you're looking at someone or you're looking at someone's life. You're looking at someone's Instagram or whatever. And, and you're thinking, man, you know, they've got this, this and this. They've got it all together. And then you start kind of taking account for yourself. Well, I don't have this and I don't look like that. And, you know, I'm not I don't have as many followers. I don't have as many subscribers. Right. I mean, I can do that for myself. Right. I, mean, I can name five YouTube channels that are exponentially <laughs> beyond where I'm at. Okay, and as far as subscribers, popularity, 
we can we can do that but it's it's not fair to us you know something my business coach taught me because i kind of shared with her i was sharing with her just you know some sometimes that pressure that i feel right sometimes that comparison it starts to creep creeps on me gets in into my head gets into my mind and i start thinking like well this and this and she says well here's the thing what you are seeing is the result of everything that they've put into it. But what you didn't see is where they started. You didn't see the beginning. And and this is a lesson for all of us. We, we don't see behind the scenes. We don't see where this came from. We see something, we see the shiny object and we think, man, I need that, I want that, I wanna be that. Without realizing all the variables, without realizing everything that's gone into it. We don't know what people have gone through. We don't know what people are going through. It, it's surprising. I, I have friends who are great public speakers. I watch them. I watch their videos on YouTube. I watch them on Instagram. And I'm like, I'm blown away. Like, geez, how'd you put that together? And then I'll tell and then I'll, I'll talk to them. Hey, text them. Hey, man, you, that was, man, you did great. And it's like, oh, man, well, I, you know, I felt like I sucked. I, I, I forgot this and I did that. And I'm thinking like, what? Like, no. But you see what I'm getting at? I don't know what's going on in their mind. I don't know how they feel about themselves. So see, it's a false, it's a false understanding of things. To compare ourselves to some something else or someone else. It kills us. And it's unfair to us. And let me go back to the unfair part. Because, and, and this is an extension of something I said in my last video. So go watch the last video if you haven't. Well, I talked about our uniqueness. No one can replace you. You know, I'm, and I don't mean like at a job or something like that. Yeah, you know, you can, you can get replaced at a job. Right? Business is business, but as a person, as an individual, no one can replace you. There's not another, there's not another version of you. And, and I think that's where we rob ourselves. And, and that is, you know, where social media can kind of play into that. That is where a lot of these things, it's this imagery, right? It's part of our, it's part of our society. We're always being marketed to, we're always being sold. Right, we're always being persuaded, you know. And again, that's what I'm saying. Be let's let's be fair to ourselves. Like this is the this is the world we live in. I'm not saying beat yourself up and oh, uh, you know, you need to be more disciplined. We all need to be more disciplined. We all need to have more self confidence. Do not let comparison kill that. That's what I'm saying. Really break it down. Why am I comparing myself to to so and so? Why do I? Why am I comparing this my situation to that situation? What do I know about that? Oh, I don't know. I'm assuming. <laughs> You've heard the saying before. You know what happens when you assume. And let's get more real about that. Assumptions are just the laziest form of thinking. It's one of the laziest ways to 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 draw a conclusion. And we are man. I am a. I am guilty as charged. What I really need to do is I need to stop and think. Ask questions. Ask questions. How's my life? And and here's the thing. Let me and and I, again, I've shared this before in other videos. I I've told you guys how I feel about my upbringing. I feel like I couldn't like it couldn't have gotten better. Both sides of my family I've had all the love, the support, all the all the um, the 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 wisdom, people imparting things in me just because because they love me, not for any anything, not to take anything from me. I've always been encouraged. I've always had help, and and you know it took me a long time to realize just how fortunate of a person I am. Fortunate, I am fortunate. You can call it luck. That's fine. You know, I grew up in church, so you couldn't call it luck. You had to call it blessed. <laughs> right? You're not lucky. You're blessed. Okay, well, call it call it what you want. 
call it what you want. I I I ended up in a in a in a great situation as far as life goes, and I am I will be forever grateful. And I want to be able to give that to my children. But with that being said, ask me if I've had problems. Ask me if I've had tragedies. Ask me if I've lost. And I'm talking about real loss. People. People I love. People that are close to my heart that are no longer here. Ask me if I've had to feel pain. Right? I had somebody tell me a long time ago. And this blew my mind. But this goes back to what I'm saying. <laughs> and I can't believe this person told me this. But they said, I wish I had your problems. Think about that. This is what comparison will do. It'll take you. It'll we you, we become out of touch. We we lose touch on reality. Are you serious? You want my problems? Why would you want my problems? Because oh, because you think that they're easier to deal with than yours. Do you see what hap You see what happens to us when we when we play the comparison game? Do you see how comparison kills? Here's what we should do instead, okay? And this is, again, this is just my advice. Um, I'm not a psychologist. I'm not, I'm not a therapist. I'm not licensed, okay? I just care about people. And I've been given some things that I felt have been healthy and have been helpful, so I want to share it with you. So what I think we should do is we should get to the bottom of why am I comparing myself? What is it that has me comparing me with this or that or those people what is it find out find out is it a pain is it a weakness is it a, is it trauma is it something that happened to me is it something i was told years ago and i don't even remember but subconsciously it plays over and over in my mind you know meditate go to therapy Breath work. Like there's a lot of different things we can do to kind of calm ourselves and really get to the bottom of it. But that's my advice because, again, comparison will kill. It will kill us. It will kill our drive. It will kill our dreams. It will kill our, our motivation. It's going to kill our, our self-confidence. If we don't have self-confidence, it's going to be hard to progress. That's something we need to work on. That is a muscle we need to be, we need to be working out as much as possible. And that can be many things, affirmations, right? Watch my videos. Watch the videos where I say, hey, you're amazing. You're unique. There's only one of you. Don't sell yourself short. And let me, let me, let me take it even further. If you need evidence, if you're saying, Josh, how, what's the evidence that I'm so special, that I'm so unique? Be you exist. That's the evidence. If you weren't good enough, If you were lacking, if you were less than, you wouldn't be here. You want to argue with me? That's fine. You want to not believe me? Go for it. I, I mean, I can't tell you what to do. Can't tell you how to believe or what to take away. No, this guy's full of it. May, may, okay. <laughs> I could take that. I don't. I can take it. I'm saying it though. This is my channel. I'm telling you. That if you weren't good enough, if you weren't enough, if you were lacking, you would not exist. And the fact that you exist is evidence that you are enough. You don't need to compare yourself to anything or anyone else. Find that in you. Believe that. Draw that conclusion. Make that your truth. Let's make this our truth because comparisons will kill us. We can't afford that because you know what's going to happen. We're going to sell others short because we're not out in the world moving around the way we should with confidence, with the assurance that my life can be and will be a gift and a blessing to others. There goes there goes that word again. Blessing. Right. Again, I'm, I told you I grew up in church. Right. You're going to hear it. <laughs> it's going to come out. I'm not ashamed. Right. Again, we don't if you if you don't believe in God or you think church is silly, that's fine. You can think what you want. I'm not here to argue that this platform is for everyone. This channel is for everyone. All are welcomed here. 
All are welcomed. You don't believe in God? You, you believe you're, you're God? I mean, you know, we can take it a hundred different ways, right? I'm not here to argue with you. I want to build you up. I want to help you. I want to help you see more and understand it to expect more from yourself. Why? Not because you need to beat yourself up, but because you we are capable. We're so much more capable than we think. Again, the comparison game will kill us. We can't afford that. We can't afford it. Not only will we be missing out, but others will miss out. It goes back to why I'm even doing this channel. I have I feel a responsibility to give back to the greater community, whoever and whoever that might be, whoever my audience is. Because of everything I've been given. And to be completely honest with you, I do get caught up in the comparison game from time to time. And you know what? I have to put a stop to it. We've got to we've got to have that recognition. We've got to have that understanding when it's happening. Put a stop to it. It's not fair to you. And it's, it's not fair to what you bring to the table, to what you bring to the world. So I hope this is helpful. And I hope you feel encouraged and I hope you feel um, better about yourself. Just remember, there's only one you. So don't play the comparison game. Comparison kills. Thank you for watching. Again, subscribe, like, share, comment. Um, if there's any topics you want me to cover in the future, let me know in the comments. If you want to donate financially, it's always appreciated. But thank you for listening. Thanks for watching.